We've been cycling through new planes for years and years now. Um, they usually run about seven years. Um, and then we find that's a good cutoff point because your maintenance per flight hour starts to, to go down. They require more maintenance as they get older um, and their downtime increases. So, so they tend to swap them out every seven years or so and about 5,000 hours on the airplane. In the flight department, we have over 700 students that are actually enrolled. And those students are all expecting to get through the program in a timely manner. So with the addition of the extra aircraft, the, the addition of the extra mechanic, mechanics that we have, um, the facilities growing, uh, we've been able to do that uh, better than we have in the past. Certainly um, with looking forward to even more success in the coming year with more aircraft. The huge difference is all the pilot. Actually, um, the old um, aircraft we have doesn't have all the pilots, but new ones. Um, we all fully equipped all the pilots. There's a lot of data that shows that aircraft over time begin to decrease in reliability and availability for the students. It's critically important that our, that our aircraft are ready for the students at all times so that they're on the ramp and they can go fly. Technically advanced aircraft is the term that we use. So as the aircraft are developed by the manufacturers, they improve the avionics and the engines and the airframes. So the uh, Cessnas and the Diamonds both are configured with something called G1000 avionics, which is the newest uh, adaptive electronic displays for students so that they get training on the latest available. I have about 350 hours of flight time. I came in with my pilot pilot certificate and a lot of hours already. So I've just been building experience here and becoming a professional pilot. Eventually I would like to work for the airlines. Uh, short term, hopefully become an instructor here for Embry-Riddle, but long term I would like to end up flying oceanic flights for an airline. It's a lot of studying, but it's a lot of fun. It's probably one of my favorite things to do is go out and fly. I get up early in the morning, 4.30 in the morning. I come here and I'm on the ramp by six o'clock and I'm in the air by 6.37. I get to take off at the sunrise.